ships are one of the oldest modes of transportation on Earth. It is estimated that humans have sailed the seas by ships since 3000 BC. But of course, in ancient times, the shape of the ship was still very simple, like a simple ship made of logs. But as human civilizations advances, ships also experience a development. Now, with the advancement of technology, ships are getting significantly larger and more sophisticated. Titanic was known as one of the strongest ships of its time and was once claimed to be the largest ship ever built. With 269 meters in length, 28 meters wide, and a total height of 53.3 meters including its chimney. The weight of Titanic reached around 52,310 tons. However, more than 100 years have passed and technological developments have enabled humans to create ships much larger than the Titanic, from cruise ships, tankers, to container ships. And here is a list of the largest ships ever built in history. Emma Myersk the Emma Myersk is currently the second largest ship in operation. It is the first container ship in the E-8 class owned by the A.P. Moller Myersk Group. Released in 2006, the Emma Myersk is the largest container ship ever built. And in 2010, Emma Myersk and the other seven ships also became the largest container ships ever built. It is a container ship that carries containers of goods from one country to another. Emma Maersk is capable of carrying around 11,000 or 14,770 20-foot equivalent unit depending on the definition. The length of this large ship is 397.71 meters. Batalus Class Supertanker Batalus is a supertanker built in 1976 by Chantier de l'Atlantique in Saint-Nazaire for the subsidiary of the French oil company Shell. Batalus, along with its sisters, namely the Bellamia, Pierre Guillaume, and Priorial, are the largest ships in the world, whose size can only be surpassed by the Seawise Giant, which was built in 1976 and extended in 1981, even though four ships of the Batalus class has a higher gross tonnage. With a dead weight capacity of nearly 554,000 tons but capable of navigating the oceans at speeds of 16 to 17 knots and with a length of 414.22 meters, the Batalus is the fourth largest ship ever built. This ship made its final journey on December 28, 1985 from Vestnest to Kaohsiung in Taiwan. Pierre Guillaume the Pierre Guillaumat is the third largest ship ever built in world history. The ship's name is taken from the name of the French politician and founder of the oil industry, Elf Aquitaine, Pierre Guillaumat. Pierre Guillaumat is also a supertanker, built in 1977 by Chantier de l'Atlantique in Saint-Nazaire for the Compagnie Nationale de Navigation. This ship only operated for six years before finally being discontinued due to its minimal profit and decreased demand for orders. Thanks to its enormous proportions, Pierre Guillaumat's usefulness is very limited. This ship cannot pass through the Panama Canal or the Sioux Canal. Due to its supermassive design, there are only a few ports in the world that this ship can enter. As a result, Pierre Guillaumat is only moored at offshore rigs and oil terminals such as Antifer and after offloading to reduce its size and load, at Europort. Pierre Guillaumat's dead weight tonnage reached nearly 555,000 tons with a speed of nearly 60 knots. The length of the supertanker Pierre Guillaumat can reach 414.22 meters. Sea Wise Giant The Mont ship, formerly known as Opama, Nock Nevis, Jare Viking, Happy Giant, and finally the Sea Wise Giant is a ULCC supertanker. Mont is the longest and largest ship based on tonnage of dead weight after lengthening, and the Seawise Giant, which is also called Queen of Oceans and Rivers, was built in 1979 by Sumitomo Heavy Industries Limited at their shipyard in Japan. However, during the Iran and Iraq War, this ship was badly damaged by Air Force attacks until it finally sank and was considered completely lost in the sea. However, the wreckage of the Seawise Giant was saved and repaired, 
After repairs, the ship continued to return to work under the name Happy Giant. The ship was then sold to Indian ship collectors and changed its name to Mont for its final voyage in December 2009. After that, this ship was deliberately stranded in India to be unloaded. Along with the title of the world's largest ship at the time, the Seawise Giant also held the title of the largest oil tanker ever built. Prelude FLNG The Prelude is the largest ship in the world ever built to date. It is longer than the Empire State Building's height and the hull was launched in South Korea in December of 2013. With a length of 488 meters and a width of 74 meters, this ship is Shell's Prelude Floating Liquefied Natural Gas or FLNG mine. This ship is also the largest floating facility man has ever built. More than 260,000 tons of steel were used in its construction. When in operation, it weighs more than 600,000 tons, which is more than five times the weight of the largest aircraft carrier ever. TI Class Super Tanker The Oceania Class IT Super Tanker is one of the most attractive vessels ever built with a large capacity to move crude oil. They are the fourfold super tanker in the world, and this super tanker is also currently the largest ship in the world. The Mars Triple E class container ships are no longer, but TI Oceania is still the largest in terms of dead weight and gross tonnage. TI Oceania's dead weight tonnage is approximately 440,000 tons, along with a speed capacity of 16 to 18 knots. TI Oceania is an aircraft carrier that is very much loaded with the technology to overcome any obstacle that may arise during the journey. The length of TI Oceania itself is 380 meters. Blue Marlin Blue Marlin is a ship that humans have never imagined before. The ship, which first was launched in 1999, was the largest giant cargo ship in the world when it was launched by the Dockwise Vanguard Company, which is headquartered in Korea. This ship is a monster, the largest ship in the world. Blue Marlin is apparently capable of carrying 22 other ships with a total weight of 60,000 tons. This extraordinary ship is capable of apparently carrying up to 75,000 tons. The goods it's carrying are not ordinary goods, but rather ships, giant radars, giant LNG tubes, military ships, submarines, and even an enormous offshore oil mine. The record Blue Marlin has carried is transporting an offshore oil mine weighing more than 60,000 tons from Korea to the Gulf of Mexico for 25,800 kilometers. Blue Marlin itself has an area twice the size of a football field and it is equipped with a diesel engine capable of 17,000 horsepower, capable of making it sail at a speed of 13 knots. Despite its enormous size, this ship only has 24 crew to operate it. Blue Marlin is run by the giant shipbuilding specialists Dockwise. Burge Emperor Burge Emperor, a large oil tanker, was built in 1975 in Japan by Mitsui and is one of the largest oil tankers of all time. Launched on August 30th, 1975, this ship weighs in at 211,360 tons. With a length of 381.82 meters, this ship belongs to Bergson, DY & Co. But in 1985, it was sold to Mustov BV and the name of the ship was changed to Emperor. This ship was then transferred to Kaohsiung in 1986. Maersk McKinney Mahler Maersk McKinney Mahler is Maersk's flagship and triple E container ship. It has the largest cargo capacity in TEU of any undeveloped ship and was the longest ship in service worldwide as of 2013. It was built for Maersk by South Korea's Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering and entered service in 2013. Together with its sister ship, Maersk McKinney Mahler was the largest and most efficient operational container ship in the world in 2013. With a total length of 399 meters and with a cargo capacity of 18,270 TEU containers, this ship has also a maximum speed of 23 knots. 
SO Atlantic Another one of the largest ships in the world ever built in history is the SO Atlantic. This name in particular is one of the most popular names in the history of large ships. This ship is 406.57 meters long, has an extraordinary dead weight capacity of 516,891 tons. SO Atlantic had served the world with a consistent level of service for 35 years. And it goes without saying that this ship was the best ship in the world at its time. The new Atlantic is an oil tanker that was finally scrapped off in 2002 in Pakistan.